What's happening, fam? L.A. All Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below. This video is entitled Too Much Sexual Confusion. Um, I'm going to speak on a little bit of the genuine thing. Um, and add... And, and, And add a lot of other things to it. Now, here's my thing. There's heterosexual people and there are homosexual people, okay? You don't get to tell somebody who they choose to sleep with. Okay? And that's why I'm going to start with the genuine thing. The transsexual dude wants to be seen as a woman. But you don't get to tell a heterosexual man that he needs to see a transsexual man as a woman. Right? No. We, we're not going to do this with you. That's on you. That's why I say there's too much sexual confusion. Because people draw lines in the sand. And just because you your line... Is over here doesn't mean I'm gonna erase my line that's right here. And nobody cares how you feel about it. This is my line, this is your line. Okay? Now, the issue that I had with this, one of the issues that I saw with it was, and I'm gonna talk about heterosexual stuff too along the way. So, um, the issue I had with it initially was, I really don't care what the people are saying because the people who say transphobia, they're probably transsexuals who want to want to do to date them. That's how I look at it. But when it comes to the LGBT community and the other letters that they add, I'm just going to stop with them for. Um, Y'all can do all that within your group. You know? How come a trans, how come a lesbian, a lesbian can date another woman, right? That's her thing, right? A gay man can date another gay man, right? A bisexual can date a lesbian or a gay man, right? Because lesbians get pregnant by dudes all the time. So, um, a transsexual can be with a lesbian who... I mean, lesbians wear dildos. There you go, right? There you go. Dude with a skirt. Bam. It's best of all your worlds, right? Or, a, 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 or um, a transsexual could, could date a gay man, right? He, he, he still likes men. You still got men parts, right? You know? And a, and a bisexual. You got, you got the best of both worlds. He could, get a, he could get woman. He could get man. You don't have to include heterosexual people in this. You know, we don't want no parts of that. That's your thing. You 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 separated yourself, so separate yourself. Like there you go. You over there. There you go. Now, you know, and I'm also gonna talk about like the Me Too and, and the Slut Walk thing combined. You know, um, the reason why I say that is because it's too much sexual confusion. Like people expect everybody to. Because people use sex and sexuality as a come up phrase or come up to a degree. And the problem with it is it's always changing. It's, it's never concrete in any way, right? You know, it's, if a man does it, it's a problem. If a woman does it, it's not a problem. If, you know, if, a heterose if, if somebody heterosexual does it, it's a problem. If somebody homosexual does it, it's not a problem. But then, if it's convenient, all of these things flip and vice versa, right? It's not consistent. Right, right isn't right and wrong isn't wrong with, with this whole thing. That's why I say it's too much confusion. Same thing with Me Too. I think Me Too and Time's Up. No. They should have spoke up against slut walks and women who use sexuality to get ahead. Because since the there are two 
separate movements, right? In the same industries that are conflicting with each other ideologically, but they want somebody else to take the blame for it. Because, and I'm not, and, and what I mean by that is, this is why I say it's too much sexual confusion. Is you can have a woman legitimately being harassed, legitimately being marginalized, legitimately being abused, and all that other stuff. And she's very much so entitled to justice. And on the opposite end of that spectrum, you can have a woman who purposely uses her sexuality to get ahead. And she makes no bones about it. And she's going around telling the world this is what she needs. It, it, it's her right to do this. And these people are operating in the same time frame. Sometimes in the same buildings, in the same industries. And you see the same woman who take a slut walk and say, yes, this is my body. Go, is, is st sitting side by side by a woman who actually got harassed talking about me too. And you got to point this out like, yo, mm -mm, mm -mm, too much sexual confusion. Guys, do, do we want wives or do we want housewives or do we want households? You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it's too much of that, uh, you know, I want to. You know, I want her to be a good, wholesome woman, but I need her to be a super freak when I feel like it. Well, you can't control if she's a super freak or, or if she, her being a freak when you feel like it. She doesn't have, her sex drive doesn't work on your thought process. Like when, she's not going to do every freaky thing you want her to do just because you thought it up. Okay? And that's not her, that, you know, that's not, even though some guys may feel like that's what she was born to do. That doesn't, that doesn't mean she wants to do with you all the time, right? But at the same time, we think we can be able to go and do what we want to do wherever and then come back like nothing's going to problem. But then if she goes, does whatever she wants to do and come back, we got issues. See, is is it... Like I said, is if it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If you a cheater, you can't cry. She's a cheater, right? And vice versa. You can't. You can't. But I did this and I did that, 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 that. You know, it's different if you keep it in one hundred from the door. But once you once you start lying and manipulating and sneaking and dipping, let me tell you something. You lose respect. From the other person you lose respect for your, for yourself for, most importantly so you know you, is it cool to be a pimp or is it cool to be a husband too much sexual confusion right um same thing with dating up and dating down i was listening to zoe williams show last night and he's talking about that you know First, hypergamy is a good thing, and hypergamy is a bad thing. You know, if a, if a man dates down, she feels like I'm dating up because I'm a woman. If if a woman dates down, how dare you? You you should be more a man, a man than that, and you should be on a um, you should get you should get on a higher level than me. I'm gonna upgrade you till you can be on a higher level than me, and it's like. Can you admit that you don't even know your sexual marketplace value? Because you're getting what you are. Maybe a little bit above or a little bit below. below. But you, 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 you know, if you, if you a C, you're getting a C. You're not getting a B. Like a C goes from 70 to 79, right? So you're getting somewhere between a 70 and a 79, right? You know, if you, if you get a B... 80, 89, you get a, you know what I'm saying? So if you, if you a C person, you're going to get a C, uh, lover, B person, B lover, A person, A lover, right? But to, to, to which degree, right? 
but here's the confusion. You know, it's too much sexual confusion because people uh, rape their sexuality with some delusional method because you see you as more valuable than you may be because you, you, you're not giving yourself an honest, um, an honest grade of what you really are. So just because you got a penis or a vagina does not mean that that makes you above or below anybody. You know, sexual confusion. Like, people say, oh, they want, uh, women say, oh, I want a guy who's hung. But then uh, he can't, you know, he, he, he's, he's, he's destroying my womb with his massiveness. He can't just keep screwing me because, you know, what if this don't work out? I, I'm, I'm going to be dead to the next guy. But at the same time, you get a deal, though, that same size of that guy, or maybe even bigger, and you destroy yourself. So what are you talking about? You know, people feel like they're unsatisfied, right? If you can satisfy yourself with yourself, you should be able to satisfy yourself with a, with a partner there, right? If it, and being reasonable, if both of y'all have to actually... Uh, agree to actually get the job done for each other, right? But to me, it's too, it's too much sexual confusion because sex is a weapon. And the one thing about a weapon is a sword, you know what you're using a sword for. A gun, you know what you're using a gun for. There are multiple different types of swords, multiple different types of guns, right? So you're talking close range, short range, slicing, cutting, chopping. There's, there's a whole different gamut of, of um, weapons and uses for them. And we try to use sex as the end-all, be-all weapon. It's a knife when we want it. It's a gun when we want it. It's a missile when we want it. It's a nuclear bomb when we want it. It's, a, you know, it's poison when we want it. It's just a bunch of everything. And it causes this confusion because everybody wants the weapon to work for them while everybody else has their own weapon. So, like, I remember playing um, rock, paper, scissors with my son. And he didn't like losing. So, you know, it was rock, paper, scissors, bomb. And then rock, paper, scissors, jet. And then rock, paper, scissors, you know, what was, what was the other one? Bomb, jet, he did missile, some shit. I'm like, eh, gun. It was a gun. Bomb, gun, and jet. You know, like, that's six things. We were just playing rock, paper, scissors. And that's what everybody's doing with sex. Like, they trying, hey. <laughs> ah, you beat me on this one. <laughs> and and it's, it's too much confusion because nobody's going to stick to the script. Because everybody's looking for a strategic advantage sexually. Using sex as a weapon or as an excuse, as an scapegoat, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. As a weapon to beat somebody over the head with or a weapon to make somebody retreat and submit, it's ridiculous. You know, and then you're mad at people who are not confused because you want other people to be conf just as confused as you because you think confusion will lead to them doing something that fits into your mess. And sometimes, basically, and just as a general thing, confused people want other people to be confused so they can suck them into their drama. People with a clear mind, no, I'm not getting involved in that. That's okay. When you figure it out, get back to me. That's what a clear mind and a wise mind to do. Like, so when people say, you need to be confused with me. No, you need to get it together. I ain't got time for this. So that's my thoughts on this. We out.